Hey guys, that time for Dean Smith is now. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it, okay? Um, Corelli will be here and moderate. Uh, Steve, I see you on camera. So let's just start with you and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, that was a game waiting for a moment of brilliance and unfortunately it came on the wrong side. Yeah, it was a game that was won by one to goal. Um, you know, my reflection now is that we didn't deserve to lose the game, um, but we didn't deserve to win it as well. I thought we were by far the better team in the first half, um, you know, but they were slightly better than us in the second half. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, when it is that even, one moment of brilliance can, can win it, and it did today. Yeah, it was. I mean, it played out much like the Vancouver game, except for Charlotte taking a lead. Yeah, pretty much so. And, you know, I just said to the players, I mean, what was the 82nd minute or something they scored? I think that's the first time since I've been at the club, including all pre-season games, that we've actually fell behind in a game. Um, you know, I, I thought we'd give them loads of problems in the first half by playing balls into the spaces in behind them. And we probably stopped that a little bit in the second half. And, and um, you know, the positive first half that we had probably we probably went. And there's been a theme a little bit, um, you know, that I'll look at over the, over the first three games of the season. We've probably just probably been too big a drop off in the second half that we haven't managed to change from the bench so far. Um, but hopefully we will with the, you know, the players who are coming in as well. You were definitely putting pressure on in the offensive third and such, but it looked like you were uh, comfortable conceding possession to them and keeping a, you know, kind of a, a lower block and, and tight uh, when the ball was in our defensive half. Yeah, I mean, they've got some quality players like Insignia uh, who scored that wonderful goal and, and Bernaschetti, Bernard, Bernaschetti, yeah. whatever his name is. I'm not, my Italian's not too good. So, um, Bernadeschi, um, you know, so we had to make sure that when they won the ball, they were coming into traffic. Unfortunately, you know, for the goal, he wasn't. Yeah, until, until that moment, I felt that the team did a really good job minimizing the danger from those two. Yeah, we did. I thought we defended them really well and you have to because they are two standout players, um, you know, and I think they've paid an awful lot of money for them two players as well. And you, that's the quality that you get. Yeah. Any insight on what the uh, skirmish was at the end there? I have no idea. An agreement to disagree. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Or go Sam and then Kara. Hey, Coach. Uh, sorry about the results and apologies for uh, my windbreaker colors. Um, I wanted to know, um, first off, you know, did you think it was a defensive error that allowed the Insigne goal, or is that just a, a, you know, a world-class goal that uh, any team's going to have a problem to stop? Yeah, I think they've had probably seven or eight shots from outside the box from 25 yards that – you know, supporters have been getting hit on the head with. So, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, you know, he puts one the, into the top corner. He, he's done that for a number of years. Uh, he is a quality player. We wanted him to be coming into traffic, but I think it was second phase from a from a corner. Um, they'd actually messed up the corner. I think Kerwin tried to get hold of it, and he, they ended up uh, picking up the second ball. But it was, it was a superb finish, and, you know, I, f I felt that was the only way they were going to score against us, to be honest. Um, also, you know, obviously, SG isn't a end all end all. It doesn't tell all the story. Um, but clearly, Charlotte was was a goal ahead in expected goals this match, and a lot of that fell on um, Enzo Capetti. Um, did you and Enzo talk after the match? Is he upset with his performance? What can you tell us about uh, our striker? He's, he's not upset with his performance and he shouldn't be. Um, he'll be upset that he didn't score because he had a big chance. Um, you know, and the referee got called over as well. He made some really good runs and that's what we wanted to do, um, you know, because the referee was called over as well for another VAR, VAR incident. I haven't seen him back, so I don't know. Um, you know, but as I said before, if he keeps making good runs, then he'll get good chances, you know, but he has to start taking them as well. All right, Coach, safe travels. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Carol, Coach, sorry about today. Uh, that's disappointing. Um, can you explain, um, you know, midfield last week you said needed more control. Did Ashley and Junior Ursa have this impact today? 
Uh, for first half, definitely. Um, I thought we had really good control of the game today, with and without the ball. We made them go where we wanted them to without it. And with the ball, I thought we was a real threat, um, you know, and, and caused them lots and lots of problems. Um, you know, second half, I thought they came out a little bit better than we did. And we, we stopped putting the ball into areas that was causing them problems. Um, you know, uh, yeah, so no, no, I thought they did, did okay, to be honest. Thank you. And did you think that the amount of yellows uh, Charlotte received versus what Toronto received was deserved? Um, I think I can diplomatically say there were some challenges in that game that, you know, I felt should have warranted cards that wasn't given. Um, and there were some similar ones that were given for our, our players, unfortunately. Thank you. Safe travels. Thank you. Okay, Any guys. other questions? Yeah, final call here. All right, if all good, we'll just end with Dean there and we'll get Westy on in a second, okay? Thank Thanks, you. Everyone.